Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 24 Area and Perimeter Exercise 24E Question number 8. Right, this one is what? Let's see. Find the perimeter of the following shapes up to one decimal place. Fine. So we have to find the perimeter of these shapes to one decimal place. Fine. Um, so what have we got here? We have, uh, we don't have complete circles in this question. We have parts of it, right? See how first we have a semicircle, right? So again, circumference of a semicircle first, right? That will be say uh, first of all two pi r, right? This is the basic thing: circumference of a circle two pi r, and if it is a semicircle, divide it by and half one by two, right? So this will be circumference equals to 1 by 2 into 2 pi r fine and radi uh, r we don't have so change 2 pi r with 1 by 2 into pi into diameter right because here we have what diameter only right this line from one end to the other end it is not stopping in the center fine so this is the diameter now that will be 1 by 2 into 3.5 one four into diameter six okay and what will that be cancel that cancel that so this will be two one four three three okay four into three twelve and one three one four and then three into three is nine right and put at the decimal point so nine point four two centimeters okay this thing is what this is the circumference of this circle but we have to find the perimeter so add this diameter also in this so 9.42 plus 6 which is 15.42 centimeters this is the perimeter all right let's move on to the next part now this one is what again here we have um, some kind of a combined figure which has a half semi, uh, a semicircle and a rectangle fine so this is the rectangle and this is the semicircle now see this will uh, what we will do is first we will find the perimeter of the semicircle okay perimeter of the semicircle will be only this circumference why we are not taking this line because we have to find perimeter of the entire shape see if I have something like this, then my perimeter will be all the four sides, right? But if I have something like uh, this, let's say for now, so will I take the side which is inside of the closed figure also as the perimeter? No, right? That is why because we perimeter is the boundary, but this line is not the boundary of the figure, right? it is basically inside the figure right but uh, like if we remove this above part then it will become a boundary so what we're going to do is this line okay this will we will not include that in our perimeter okay what we will include is this side this side this side and this curve this will be the circumference of the semicircle so very simple circumference equals to again this is the diameter so 1 by 2 into pi into diameter that is 1 by 2 into 3.14 into diameter 17 so this will be what um, 17 into 4 right 1 by 2 into and um, sorry not into right so what will this be uh, 17 into 4 is 8 and 1 and 6 so 3 and 2 17 into 3 is 51 and 2 53 right 5338 and decimal after two places cancel and this cancel this 2 1 6 1 6 again and 1 9 right so 26.69 meters sorry not centimeters meters but one more thing that we have to find the perimeter so again add all the sides right 26.69 plus 5 5 
17 so uh, basically 27 this will be right that is what um, see here 3 uh, 1 and 5 53.69 meters okay this becomes our answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my friends let's move on to the next part perimeter of this one will be what simply we will do what uh, this circumference this circumference and these two sides this one will also be three centimeters if this is three right so this will be what uh, first of all circumference okay first of all we'll find the circumference of semicircle right uh, which will be what um, 1 by 2 into pi 3.14 into radius sorry radius this is not radius sorry um, into diameter right um, that is what into diameter is uh, this 16 okay so 1 by 2 into 3.14 into 16 okay let's cancel this let's cancel this 8 and this is going to be 8 into 4 32 3 8 1 11 1 8 3 24 and 1 okay 25 2 5.12 what centimeters and this will be for the second one also right so second semicircle so same thing same circumference for this also why because if this is 16 this one will also be 16 right so this will be what 25.12 as well okay so we get 25.12 plus 25.12 plus 3 and 3 okay this is what 50.24 plus 6 and that is 56.24 what centimeters fine this becomes a what perimeter of the entire figure uh, uh, now let's move on to the next part now let's move on to the next part and in this figure we have one semicircle and another semicircle and a rectangle so our perimeter will include this side this side this one this and this fine so first of all we'll find the circumference right we'll find the circumference of the semicircle that will that will be 1 by 2 into pi into diameter so 1 by 2 into 3.14 into diameter is 8 right so 8 cancel this 16 1 4 1 5 12 12.56 centimeters is the circumference of the first semicircle now what next um, so what we're going to do now is that we'll find circumference of this semicircle this one so this has this much of uh, diameter okay and here you can see this is 8 centimeter and here 4 so subtract 8 from 4 we get 4 as our diameter right the circumference of sorry this is the of first semicircle right and then second semicircle right is what see so we get here 4 into uh, sorry 1 by 2 into 4 into 3.14 into 4 so this will be 8 2 6 6.28 centimeters now add the sides for the perimeter that will be what um, see this is going to be 12.56 uh, plus 6.28 plus 3 and 3 and 4 right so that will be what um, 3 into 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 so plus 10 here right now that will be what see 6 1 6 14 and 1 8 and this will be what 12 plus 6 is 18 18.84 plus 10 okay so 28.84 what 
centimeters right this becomes a answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye